The Congressional Progressive Caucus is by far the largest and most influential coalition in the federal government. It is also the most radical, having extensive ties to several major Marxist organisations. Buoyed by an influx of new far-left members, the caucus has struck a deal with the Democratic House leader Nancy Pelosi to significantly increase a socialist power in the U.S. House of Representatives. The deal will see more Communist Party USA, CPUSA and Democratic Socialists of America, DSA supporters, appointed to key congressional committees and enjoy a greater role in influencing legislative priorities. The Congressional Progressive Caucus will increase its membership from 78 to around 95 members next year, about 40% of the entire Democratic caucus. The 116th Congress will include at least three former DSA members, Jerry Nadler, Jan Shikoski, Danny Davis, and two new comrades, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Rashida Tlaib. Progressive caucus leaders Raul Grijalva and Keith Ellison both have long histories with the CPUSA, along with many other prominent caucus members, including Rosa DeLauro. Eddie Bernice Johnson, Barbara Lee, Bernie Thompson and Gwen Moore. The CPUSA and DSA do not spend their time and money electing Democrats purely for love. They respect a return on their investment. Virtually every major plank of today's Democratic Party, from single-payer health care, amnesty for illegal aliens, normalization of relations with communist Cuba, $15 per hour minimum wage and others originated with the CPUSA or DSA, with nearly 100 members including a fresh cohort of ultra-radical recruits, coupled with unprecedented potential to influence legislative priorities thanks to Pelosi, the caucus is positioning itself to assert extraordinary power. The Congressional Progressive Caucus is effectively part of the world communist movement and it's about to become the dominant faction in the Democratic Party. Am I the reason you get stoned every week now? Build up integrity, got you texting, emailing me, wanting me to feel with you. Baby, just face reality, move on. Sometimes it's hard to face reality.